Hey, how y'all doing? So, today I want to talk about submission and what it really means to submit. So, oftentimes the church, the church will place emphasis on a woman submitting to a woman submitting to a man specifically a wife submitting to a husband and while that's noble that's you know everybody got their own <clears throat> opinions on that it's taken out of context and oftentimes men especially take submission out of context submission is not you get to is your way or the highway you put your foot on my neck and I do everything that you say that's not what submission is although that's how people like to sell it as well as churches and pastors and all of that okay that's not what submission is so submission in textbook form is you uh, one individual willingly placing themselves under the authority of another individual. So when a person enlists in the military, that's submission. One individual is placing themselves under the headship of the authority of the military or the general, the, you know, all the leaders in the military, there's a, a ranking. So you immediately, as soon as you submit to the military, you're submitting as soon as you enlist in the military. Um, <clears throat> the same way, when you get a job and you have a boss, you submit to the authority and the leadership of your boss um, and on and so forth. So in a relationship or a marriage, the woman is said to submit to um, the husband. The wife is to submit to the husband. So that means if I submit to my husband, then I'm placing myself under his leadership. Now, there are a lot of men who don't beat those qualifications of a leader. So women, we have to be mindful of who we allow to lead us. And I, I was talking to a guy that I used to date and he was like, um, you said allow, like, uh, a man that's really a leader is not really allowing, you're not allowing him to lead anything. He's a leader naturally. And I said, yeah, to some extent, but because I'm a leader in my own right, with or without you, man, I can pick and choose who I allow to lead me because I willingly step under that authority and under that leadership. And if you're not going in the same direction that I'm going in, then there's no need for me to play willingly submit to you and allow you to lead me because we ain't going in the same direction, which is okay. If you headed south and I'm headed west, that's absolutely okay. But I'm not going to allow you to lead me because we're not going in the same direction. So that's, that's where submission comes in. <clears throat> I can submit to some to another individual's authority. I do it when I go to work, at church, with your parents. You know it, that everybody has to submit to somebody. Um, and men who abuse that that privilege of having a woman submit lack the understanding that, in the same way that I submit to you or allow you to lead me, I place myself under your headship. You have to place yourself under the headship of God. So if you don't that, don't, that means you don't get to run around and do whatever the hell you wanna do. And I just have to follow blindly. So women, this is me telling y'all, be careful who you let lead you. And, and men too, be careful who you let lead you. The jobs that y'all in, can lead to disaster. The churches y'all go to can lead you to disaster. Okay, so I'm very mindful about who I let allow to lead me. And it is because I willingly place my submission under the headship of another um, as far as authority goes. 
if I allow you to have authority over me in some way, shape, fashion, or form, I'm very mindful of your mindset, your thoughts, your ideas, your ideals, your strongholds, your sicknesses. Are you sick in the head? Are you demented? <laughs> no, I, I shall not follow you, okay? You're going to lead me straight down the, to the pits of hell, okay? So I just want y'all to get an understanding of what it really means to submit and how it looks. What it, what it truly looks like for a person to truly submit. Now understand, even in the context of okay, if I if you if I willingly place somebody else over me, their headship over me, that doesn't give them the right to disrespect me, down talk down on me, um, treat me as an inferior just because I allow you to lead me. And sometimes bosses like to do this, supervisors like to do this when they overstep their boundaries and they don't understand what it takes to lead a person. If I, if I say, okay, you're my supervisor, you're my boss, there's a certain level of respect that comes with that going both ways. So I have to respect you as a, as a supervisor. Obviously I do if I'm submitting to you in your leadership role, but you also have to respect me and not talk down on me or look down on me, there's there's a, a certain level of respect that goes both ways. And it's, it's, it's very much apparent in relationships. If I say, hey, you know, where are we going? Okay, I'll link up with you, I'll follow. You know, it's really easier to follow. But a lot of people don't understand how to lead and the importance of being a leader. It's certain things, you know, it's, it's so much information that they're out books and and uh, audio and it's all kind of information about leadership and what it means to be a leader and oftentimes people who abuse their role as a leader or um, don't really take it seriously tend to lack the understanding and they as a result don't have the they don't get the results that they're looking for out of the people that they're leading so i said all that to say um i want y'all to be mindful of who you allow to lead you think about how you lead others because we we're all shit we're leading our children so we have to be mindful of the things we do, the things we say as leaders, and know that we're not exempt. As a matter of fact, as a leader, you're held more accountable as a leader than you are exempt. We're not an exception. If you're in a leader, if you're a leader, you're not an exception to the rule. You're not an exemption to the rule. Actually, you should be upholding the rule or whatever the case it is. So um throughout life pay attention to your leaders look at your leaders pick your leaders wisely use good discernment and understand what submission is the power of submission how submission works um even as a leader you can still you have it's going to be somebody or something that you submit to so what does that look like all right so y'all let me talk to me in the comments Tell me what you think. How do you um, view leadership? Um, what are some leadership traits that you like to see in those that um, that you you know admire or you know motivate you over the years? Um, some things that you've seen in your life and your workplace, you know your experiences. Talk to me, okay? Like, share, and subscribe. All that fun, exciting stuff. And I thank y'all 